Okay, okay, welcome, 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 welcome to another art vlog, dad vlog, studio vlog, whatever you guys call these vlogs nowadays. I didn't really do nothing this week to film, but I wanted to talk to you guys still about why I'm kind of scared to be a full-time artist. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys some clips of me um, packing a couple print orders and using recycling to repack stuff. I don't even know how to explain it. You'll see in the video. I just take some Amazon boxes and repurpose them. I took a trip to a couple art supply stores to find certain art supplies. So I'm going to show you guys that. And then after I show you guys that stuff, we're going to talk about some stuff like why I feel weird about full-time artists. People say full-time artists. It's like... How do you be a full-time artist? I don't know. We're going to talk about it. And then you guys can leave your thoughts. What you think a full-time artist is. And do you think I'm a full-time artist? By what I'm going to explain to you guys. I don't know. What do you? What's your definition of a full-time artist? Please, please let me know. Because I understand it's like, oh, you run an Etsy or you run an artist alley. But is that really full-time? I don't know. I sound stupid. Let's just... Um, also, thanks for all the love on last week's video. I can't believe we hit 2,000 views. That is crazy. I've never seen that before on my channel, ever. There was those random viral videos where they're just like botted or something like that. Like, I got like a lot of subs from those and they just weren't real viewers. I feel like you guys are real viewers because you guys are leaving comments for me and then I never get comments in that. It's pretty cool. I'm getting some love and I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Let's, um, what did I say we're going to do? Watch these clips. Watch these clips. Okay, bye. this one this one looks pretty cool so i stopped the vlog right here because uh everything i did was so boring everything i recorded was so boring and i wanted to save your guys' eyeballs from watching me i just basically looking for art supplies let's, let's just see what i bought okay so we're back from michael's i went to michael's i went to target i went to joann's i went on a crazy mission right now um here's what we got Showed it in the video. I got one of these things for my stickers. This is for like when I do conventions and I can carry my stickers easily. This took me forever to find. I don't know why. I didn't have it at the first two stores I went to. But I got some highlighters. I'll show you what I'm going to do with these. Uh, trying some stuff out. Piggybacking off my last video. When you have art block or creative rut. Whatever you want to call it. Trying new things. always It always motivates me. I, I'm trying something with these. I'll show you guys. And I also got a new watercolor brush, which I'm going to use, not today, maybe in the next couple days. I have a couple projects I need to finish first, then I'll get to that. And then I also got this. Don't make fun of me. I got a Lego. Please don't laugh. It's a X-Men. Uh, when I was younger, it used to be called the Blackbird, but now it's just called the X-Jet. I'm pretty sure it used to be called the Blackbird. But I got that. Uh, that was the mission we went on today. I don't know if I vlogged me at Target, but this is everything I got. Should I build a, I'm build, I think I'm gonna build a Lego one. Show, show me out. But first I'm gonna show you guys what I do with highlighters. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. So I bought this sketchbook last year, it's almost been a year, it hasn't been a full year yet, and I'm so close to finishing it, and one thing I've been doing the past couple days is using a highlighter sketch 
and I go over it with ink. Uh, I've been using a Sharpie. I really love the way the Sharpie writes. And then I scan it into my computer and color it on my Photoshop. I'm new to this whole process, but I've been reading and watching a lot of Jake Parker stuff. And he does a lot of traditional and he scans it in. He, he has like this whole process where he does it digitally, then scans it, prints it, and then traditionally inks it and all that stuff. And I want to do my whole comic traditional. So I've been practicing a little more. So now I'm going to do a little bit of a drawing so you guys can watch me draw while we chat and talk about art stuff, you know? You guys already know by now that I love to yap, so listen to me yap. So art, um, I would say it's my true passion and I have a lot of goals, a lot of art goals, but uh, I'm kind of treating these videos, these vlogs as like a journal or like a little diary or a little place for me to just talk or, you know, yap. I like to say yap a lot. But instead of keeping them to myself, I like to post them. And that way, if there's like another artist out there who kind of feels the way I feel, they could see they don't feel that way alone. And uh, they could see the mistakes I'm making and they can learn from my mistakes as I'm barely learning from them. They can learn from before they even make them, you know? So technically, I'm already a full time artist because I quit my job to do art full time. I don't know. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I don't like working in like a factory. That's the only jobs I ever had was like warehouses and stuff like that. And I just feel like it's not for me. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just I couldn't. I don't know. I just I'm more of a creative so i feel like i just need to be creating all the time which also sucks and it's like a sucky mindset because like you can't just create because you need money and it's like what do you do so when i first started learning to draw i was already like trying to figure out how to monetize my art because when i was younger i was a kid people would pay me money to draw like their favorite dragon ball characters or pokemon characters i remember i would do like pokemon comic books for money but i was a kid so i was only charging like a dollar for like five hours of my time so now that i'm an adult the equivalent to that is commissions or like etsy's or artist alleys which i just barely started getting into artist alleys again and etsy i just started my etsy a few months ago so those are things i'm working on right now so i'm worried or like i'm scared to be a full-time artist because everything i worked for all these years can just be taken away so easily and i'm only saying this because it happened to me three i would say three times maybe a couple more but three times that stand out to me the most where i was actually starting to make an income as an artist and then just like Damn, everything's gone. I have to start over from scratch. Before I started to get back into drawing, which was around like 2018, back in like 2010 to the 2012, 2013, I would make clay art. I would make things out of clay, like jewelry and stuff like that, and I would sell it. And I had a lot of customers. I'll get business every single day. I would just make like five to six pieces a day. But like everything, it just stopped. It stopped happening. I remember the last like week before I had no orders, I was getting like one a day and then one a week and then just nothing. And I thought it was like so weird. It was just like so good. And then it was like so bad. And then I had to go back to my regular job and uh, I hated it. I had to work at Amazon. Oh, I hated it so much. But I was just a kid. I was only like 19, 20 years old. And uh, I had all my eggs in that basket. I literally invested a bunch of money into like art supplies and tools and stuff like that and every dollar i got i spent it like a dummy i didn't save it. i think i bought a car and that was it and i just was dumb but everything was like gone and nobody told me how to save money nobody told me what i should do with my money people just wanted money from me and that's basically and i was just like a dumb kid so i was giving money to everybody and i was being stupid and then about 10 years later i gave etsy a try and i got about 800 sales or something like that in three months and it was just like so crazy to me i couldn't believe that people actually liked my art and they wanted to buy stuff from me and get commissions and hang my art on their walls then one day i signed into my etsy but i couldn't sign in and i checked my emails and i had an email and they said my etsy was suspended permanently over an art piece i did it was like based on an ip of a cartoon but i didn't draw the i didn't draw them exactly the same and i changed the word like i just everything was different about it but the only thing i would say was the same was like the color palettes and completely just shut my shop down and I remember I was reading that email that day and I just got like, it just killed my whole day. So I was like, man, I just made this and I'm getting all these sales and it's like, I'm able to run an art business now, but now it's just like gone. I don't even know what to do. It happens, I guess. You gotta keep it moving. I basically just put all my eggs in that basket too, like I did the first time. I should have learned my lesson, but I didn't. I get it though. It's it's not my IP and which sucks, but it sucks even more when you see other people using that IP and they're making like thousands and thousands of sales. I'm here to tell you, just learn from my mistakes. Create your own characters and monetize them. Create your own comics, your own cartoons. Do that. Then nobody could tell you not to sell your own characters. Anyways, another thing I tried was uh Twitch. I was a streamer on Twitch for a while. I actually loved it. We started to get like a little following because my TikTok actually blew up around the same time and everybody was coming over from TikTok to the Twitch. Some of my streams would even hit 200 viewers, which I think was crazy. We had like a little schedule going on and everything until something bad happened in my life. I don't really, I don't really want to make it all sad, but I, I uh, kind of lost my little brother. He, uh, let's just say he's like, he's not with us no more. We'll say that, okay? So after that happened, I took probably like two months off of social media, sh shut down my Fiverr. I forgot to mention I had a Fiverr. Shut down my Fiverr, shut down my streaming, wasn't posting on social media. 
and everybody knows like once you you shut everything down you disappear like everything just goes back down to zero so when i came back to streaming my first couple streams only had like one or two people sometimes zero but a lot of my og like followers and friends stood around and even on the discord they still they're still super active on the discord so i'm super appreciative for them for sticking around even though i'm like ghosting them all the time i'm always streaming and then leaving and coming back it's just after i had that momentum i lost like so much motivation to stream even though i love it i'm hoping to get back into that very soon but yeah anyways thank you to all my og supporters who are still here supporting from basically four years ago. that was 2020 they're still here thank you guys appreciate you guys you guys are the best thank you it just sucks that when i get focused on one thing then it just disappears and i have to start all over again i hate that it's like uh, so unmotivated just thinking about it it's so unmotivating but this is a big reason why i'm like super scared to even say i'm a full-time artist because i feel like if i said it I'm gonna jink myself and then the universe is gonna be like no you're not and then just like delete my youtube account which i'm finally focusing on and we're finally getting a little bit of momentum on the youtube because i'm being like i'm being consistent consistency is key they say i guess i don't know i don't i really don't believe that i just want to be i just want to be an artist man i don't i don't want to be a businessman now i'm focusing on all socials but not only to grow an art business but to grow like a community make connections and eventually make my comic or uh go even bigger and make a cartoon i don't know movie let's make a movie and again i don't want to be a businessman i want to be an artist so uh, i think i will and i just want to say i'm glad you guys are here to watch the journey thank you thank you for watching i have so many more video ideas so many more things that i'm working on in the backgrounds that i haven't showed nobody and i'm hoping you guys are excited to see what i have uh, i'm taking some art classes right now i want to review those that way you guys know should i take this art class i just joined one a couple days ago and i'm really excited uh i'm really excited to work on my illustration skills because my illustration skills suck but i'm working on it and i will be better guaranteed 100 guaranteed i'll be better we'll talk about that in another video final thoughts for this video let me drop on you guys what i'm doing right now so you guys can judge me if i'm a full-time artist or not uh i wake up i draw i uh take a lunch break i draw my lunch break uh, i go to sleep i draw i'm drawing 24 7 well not since wondercon ever since wondercon happened i've i'm in that little like mode i'm like eh, i'm not drawing as much but here's what i do right now i have an etsy again i have a coffee i have a patreon shout out to my patreons i'll put them right here while we're yapping back and forth but um i'm finally able to monetize my instagram um my tiktok is monetized but i don't get views on it anymore i don't care about my tiktok anymore i just post on there if you go on there and see i don't put hashtags i don't even put descriptions anymore. i just post my videos and, and get out of there uh youtube i don't make no money from youtube yet my main thing right now is Etsy. Like I'm focusing on growing that Etsy and I'm focusing on being consistent on YouTube. Super focused on my Instagram because that's where that's where I'm getting the most notice. And I'm a lot of artists that I uh, follow and who inspire me. They're actually starting to follow me and comment and DM me. And it's so crazy because my main goal at the end of all this is just to like, like I said, make connections, but I want to make cartoons and I want to work in the industry. That's my end goal. So hopefully you guys are here for my end goal or you guys are watching the process. I appreciate it again i'm gonna keep repeating it in every video thank you thank you for it so my main income right now is uh etsy and commissions that's it am i a full-time artist uh i wouldn't say i am honestly i would say i'm a full-time artist if i'm able to like take trips to the bahamas i'm just kidding i'm just kidding that's not a full-time artist um i would say i would have consistent work i would probably say that means i'm a full-time artist but as of right now i don't think i am um i quit my job to do this uh maybe it was a bad idea still don't know about that but i'm having more fun than i was having over there <laughs> yeah anyways um you guys let me know your thoughts on full-time artists are you a full-time artist do you want to be a full-time artist please let me know um i want to know you guys description of a full-time artist because i feel like there's a bunch of different ways to describe a full-time artist and right now i'm not but uh goals man we all got goals we all got dreams we got to keep going dreaming get them uh, zach fox is my favorite person in the world so I just had to say that <laughs> spit top fire anyways hey thank you guys for being here um another video down every monday that's the plan every monday i hope you guys listen to me talk until we get to the uh i have an artist alley coming up in two weeks i will probably do a con prep for that and then i will do an artist alley vlog hopefully we get a new mic or something for that video that would be crazy that'd be sick anyways thank you guys for being here i uh, hope you guys like this drawing i use a highlighter and a sharpie Peace out. Uh, we're almost done with the sketchbook too. We're going to do a sketchbook tour pretty soon. Thank you. Have a good one. Peace out. Thank you. Bye.